Hi there, Greg Holmeson from the Philippines Recruitment Company with my comprehensive overview on recruiting out of the Philippines. So we now are at a point where we have a lineup of candidates. Our client has either gone to the Philippines to actually do their selections or it's been done over a video link. So once we've then selected our candidates, the process then for the 482 visa is to have the candidates assessed for a Cert 3 or in some cases a Cert 4 so the candidates can then qualify for a visa for Australia. That is required for most trades coming into Australia. So we will then need to upload all the documentation for stage one of their Cert 3 or Cert 4 assessment by an assessor. It's an RTO based in Australia who will then make the assessment for the Cert 3. The documentation goes together, an assessor will pick up the job and being able to confirm that the documents are as such that they have the required experience to then move them forward into a technical interview. So then a assessor then gets allocated to do the technical interview of which is set up for the Filipino to then be assessed by the RTO. This whole process can take anything up to three months. It's uh, not so easy, it takes some time, but it's an absolute requirement to bring someone into Australia. The technical interviews themselves can take many hours, you know, four or five hours is not unheard of for an assessor to actually you know, themselves dive deep enough into the experience of the candidate to ensure that they do have the skills. And it's very difficult because we are talking about English speaking, but not first language English. So assessors have a tough job because it's up to them to make sure that the candidates have the skills. They're not assessing for English, but they do need to confirm that the candidates do have the skills at that minimum level of Cert 3. So once we get to that point, it's then about making sure that we have all of the documentation in place to then lodge the visa uh, for the 482 program. This then gets lodged. That of course also uh, goes with supporting documentation from the company to make sure that the wages that are being paid are correct and that the company or client has also been looking um, themselves for candidates and therefore haven't been able to find anyone locally and needs to go overseas. So that then uh, triggers the final stage of the process with getting candidates into migration and then the approvals are not taking so long. It's uh, you know generally about a month for the approvals to come through. The candidates will give notice and we'll start booking flights to bring the candidates into Australia. Stay tuned for the next stage of uh, the candidate arrival.